Hey people, this is a pilgrim, and we're going to go and tame a managama. Yeah, I think I pronounced that right. Anyway, for this you're going to need the exceptional augmented kibble, and it uses extra large eggs, so I've got some Bronto and Therizinosaur eggs here. Uh, you can also use Giga, Quetzal, Rex and Uteranus as well. Um, you're going to need some rare flowers, Miho berries again, fibre. This one uses element dust and the main thing is raw prime fish meat which you're gonna have to collect and try and refrigerate or just get a ton of it and get your uh, eggs built really quick your kibble made really quick i mean cool element dust uh you need for each one you need two raw raw pine fish meat two rare flowers 10 mehole berries fiber and 20 element dust that's sort of per kibble and you're going to need about 22 for a 150 team. So I made, um, I think I made like 30, just to make sure I've got enough. Yep, and that's what you're looking for, exceptional augmented kibble. Right, we're going to head off to the snow biome in a minute. Um, what I've done is, Captain Fat Dog, if you've ever checked out his channel before, he does a lot of tips and tricks, he's just made this new uh, Magnamar trap dead simple little thing and you sort of trap it in with a door so I'm gonna have a go at building that see if you can trap one with it um, I'll put a link in the description to his channel so you can check it out uh, I'll just build the thing quick so you just need a stone fence foundation and then a stone pillar put the pillar on the right hand side and that'll sort of orientate the whole thing to where you want the magma to fly in doorway stone wall slope stone wall and top and then you want some hatch frames and with them you want to sort of get the hatch frame so it's halfway over the wall like that and then one next to it and do it so it's three out and then the walls the stone fences will just snap underneath like that and there you go done stick your door in that's like the, the thing that's going to trap it in and stop it from escaping there you go, just a really simple little design. He is a clever guy, he is. <laughs> you ought to check out his channel. Right, I found me 150, who was just like a one good round blow here. Um, there was a snow owl over near the trap and it just decided to lock onto that and then flew straight inside. So I got trapped up in there with the, with the trying to attack the snow owl. But I think it had sort of glitched through from the left hand side. Um, I shut the door and the thing escaped a couple of minutes later. So I had to sort of catch it properly. And it was just sort of flying up in the air then like targeting me and then coming straight down at me. So I just managed to sort of line it up when it landed. Um, run inside and it just sort of followed me around and went straight in. It was pretty cool because you're not having to sort of line it up with a door and mess about. Well, I sort of did that turn and then because there's a gap there straight in gets caught on the fences and there we go uncaptured mag ma managama I'm just using trank darts here to knock it out but uh, someone called Rex Pyre mentioned that if I was doing a simple easy to tame video I should have used trank arrows probably right it would be the simplest way but it didn't take much to knock this thing out to be honest there we go. Right, get your kibble in there and you're good to go. It's pretty safe up on this ledge. Another Magnamar flew up later on but I killed it. Um, but it's quite far away. I didn't notice anything else spawning around us. There we go, see it in the kibble so all oh, that's right. It tamed really quick actually. Uh, the wiki says it takes like 56 minutes but it was nowhere near that. Felt more like 20. I said I was messing about a bit, so I didn't really watch the whole thing. Yeah, get a saddle on him, and there you go. Leaps just with a space, right clicks that um, sort of ice blast. Doesn't seem to do too much damage that though. You've got a left click attack, uh, alt is like a double sort of swipe. Then you just keep pressing forward, uh, space, you know, to do that sort of little jet thing. And I stuck him in a cryopod to get him on because this fight is going to be a lot easier than trying to get him through past all the corrupted. There we go. Another quick little team. 
like I said, check out Fat Dog's channel. Um, I'll put the link in the description for his build. Oh yeah, when I put it in the cryopod, I just had to double check, make sure it hadn't dropped the saddle, because I, I didn't know. Um, but it dropped everything that was inside it, so I just gathered it all up. And there it is. Right, thanks for watching guys. Uh, like, like I said, if you get a chance, uh, check out the rest of the channel. Um, sort of building and stuff, and there's uh, a few how-to videos on there now. Alright, cheers, thanks for watching.